morning. <sighs> Welcome to a morning in my life. Typically when I wake up, I meditate right away. So Andrew and I meditate together in the morning. It's like dark and obviously like that is our time to regroup. Sleeping has been interesting lately. I feel so cozy in my bed, but I also have a bajillion pillows in here in order to be comfortable. Today I am 26 weeks pregnant and so I need just like so much support around me and I only feel myself needing more as I get bigger. So yeah, basically I'm just like in a sea of pillows and Andrew's like somewhere over on the other side. <laughs> That's been my life, but let's, let's get ready. <laughs> tell you how much I love our bedding right now. It is like the hotel bed of my dreams. I went down a rabbit hole to figure out what is it that makes hotels have that hotel bed feel. And so I went down a rabbit hole on Reddit and they said it's per cal sheets. I have had these Brooklinen sheets for two weeks now. And since switching to per cal, it's just so much more crisp and fresh, especially for the summertime, it gets a lot more hot and humid. I ended up taking back my last duvet cover. I don't know if you saw a couple vlogs ago where I was struggling to put the insert in. That particular brand of duvet, it was just way too heavy and hot and it also didn't fit the length of our bed. So like Andrew's feet would pop out at night. So we returned that one and I reached out to Brooklyn and I was like, listen, this, this is the duvet and it's very fluffy. So if you are looking to make your room like a hotel, I've cracked the code. This is it. This is exactly what you need to buy. And I will leave the link in the description of everything that I have. I feel so good at night and you can get the same one if you want. Let's get moving. The first thing I focus on every morning is hydration and so I try to drink two of these a day so that's 90 ounces of water. I will drink a glass of electrolyte water. Finding an electrolyte powder was really hard for me because I don't like don't like monk fruit or stevia. It just doesn't taste good to me. This one has monk fruit in it and it is bearable. I can drink it. It's a lemon lime flavor and the ingredients are really good overall. I will stir this up. I will also take my supplements and then we will work out. The supplements I've been taking throughout pregnancy are Full Well brand prenatals. I really like these and my doctor likes them. I also take 900 milligrams of choline from Neat. <laughs> really like the Needed brand in addition to their choline. I also add their collagen powder to my matcha and it just gives me some extra protein. I take a probiotic and I take fish oil, omega-3, DHA, EPA, all that stuff. All right, let's go work out.
love the pregnancy and postpartum channel on YouTube. It's free. She has so many varieties of kind of Pilates based workouts, but you can do weights and strength training, resistance bands and all of that. And so I just love how good my body feels when I do her workouts and I love that it's free. Um, another app that I was using prior to pregnancy was the Sweat app and then I joined their pregnancy program. And I really like that app as well, but after doing it for many weeks, it just kind of felt repetitive and I needed I needed like more of a Pilates, like my body was craving more stretching. I canceled that and started doing this and honestly, it's been great. <laughs> also saving like $20 a month. Yeah, as we've been purchasing things for the nursery, postpartum, just like prep and getting things done around the house that we probably won't have as much time for when baby is here, it just adds up and it's a lot at once. So I'm very grateful <laughs> to save money where I can. Almost done with my electrolyte drink. got a sourdough English muffin, a chicken sausage patty from Applegate, and organic berries. If I had an avocado, I'd probably toss it on there too. I get full so easily, so I really have to pace myself and just eat throughout the day. So my meal times have not been very consistent. I'm just listening to my body and making sure I eat before the point of like, major hunger because that's when I tend to overeat and then I get like so stuffed. Like I've never felt this amount of fullness in my life until pregnancy. But I got this English muffin from the farmer's market and I just try to get a little protein right in the morning. I have been able to eat gluten this entire pregnancy and I think that's probably a major reason of why I'm enjoying it so much. I've been able to eat croissants, sourdough bread, pasta, and just like I've had no digestional, digestinal, you know what I'm saying. I've had no issues with that. And so that's been amazing and I really don't know if it'll continue postpartum, but I really hope it does and if it doesn't, it was fun while it lasted, so I'm really, I'm really soaking it in. Thank you for coming along to my morning routine. It's been fun. I am ready to get into the thick of work. I've been really only working about five hours each day and that was a goal that I set at the beginning of this year to kind of be more efficient with my time so that I can prepare to take a break and be on maternity leave. It's gonna be really interesting to see what that ends up looking like. And if you guys have questions for anyone out there that is a business owner, a creator, entrepreneur, let me know what questions you have because I'm still figuring it out with my team, but I think we're in a good spot and I'm really looking forward to taking some time off. So anyways, I'm gonna get into it get some steps in on my treadmill. Thank you for tuning in. And also thanks again to Brooke Lennon for partnering with me. I'll leave all the links down in the description and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.